Hello and welcome to Hearthus Gaming. Today I'm going to be doing a video on a how-to for your very first basic structure. Now this can actually be used to uh, build other structures going forward. It's kind of just the basics and ground level foundation of which to build your uh, experience on top of. Alright, now to start off with, the basic house is going to take a lot of wood and sticks. Or in this case, timber and sticks, which you all get from logs. So I recommend doing it near a forest of some kind. And depending on the size you're going to make it, look for a nice, levelish type of ground. I mean, this is kind of at an angle, but you know what? We'll make it work. So, the first thing, if you hit G, it brings up your block menu. Now, you won't have the stone, because this is all done without research. But the first item is going to be this wooden support. Now, you'll see this ghost image in world. As long as it has a white outline around it, like this one does, you can put it down. If it's too high, or if it for some reason clips in the ground in such a way that it won't let you place it, you'll see this red outline. Now find your ground and look for, eh, I guess the best place to put it. That's a good step. You just left click to put it down. Now to put these down, I recommend getting a bunch of sticks ahead of time. The timber you can get after you've put out the, uh, the layout of your building. But the sticks are required to even put down these little frames. So today I'm going to make a 3x3 three three building. Let's go this way. And as long as you're aiming at the face of one of these blocks, it'll snap in place. If you try placing it out in the middle of nowhere, it'll snap to the ground at a certain height. Or... Let's see, you can change the height, but it's not going to line up perfectly with your foundation. So that's why I recommend snapping like this. Oh, I'm out of sticks. To get more sticks and more timber, this is going to be important. You're going to need an axe of some kind. Start chopping down a tree. Be careful when chopping down these trees because if they land on you or hit you in such a way, it will kill you. See now, chopping this into pieces. Alright, you'll see these branches that come down. They're also considered sticks. They'll be a different uh, inventory item, but they'll act as sticks. Almost gathered up this tree. Now this really should be enough sticks to get you started at least. More sticks can always be made by going into your inventory. And you can turn one log into 15 sticks, which is actually a pretty good amount. I'm going to do that with a couple of these. Alright. Now let's finish off the foundation of our house here. There we go, so now we have a 3x3 three three foundation. Now to upgrade these to full, you're going to need a hammer, both primitive or metal, will work. Time for me to explain how this works. In the bottom right it shows what you're looking at, and when it comes to these foundations you actually have to aim at one of the sticks that are holding up the foundation. On the bottom right it says what it is, and each component required to make it. On the far left number is going to be how much is currently inside of it. It's best to picture it as like a container of some sort. For example, this one is currently holding six sticks. Now, the number to the right of that is how much is required. So it needs six of those sticks to actually be built to 100%. Final number shows exactly how much you have on you currently. So 145 more sticks in your inventory. Same thing with timber. You have your installed, required, and available. You just got to left click to build it up. Now when it comes to deconstructing, you do the same thing except you hold down the right mouse button. The hammer will actually deconstruct it, returning the materials to you. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead to when I've got this entire foundation built out. Alright, that way you guys don't sit down and just watch me work. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. 
All right, we're back. Went ahead and got our 3x3 three three foundation built up. Now the next step that I definitely recommend is your walls. Now again, we'll hit G. We're going to find our wooden walls. Let's go ahead and move everything down that we're going to be using. We've got the basic wall, the window, and the doorway. All right, so when it comes to a house, the best thing is to start with the doorway. So you'll see down here on the bottom on with all the pluses. The pluses indicate that the that the item can actually be multiple different things. What I mean is uh instead of having 10 different icons on your toolbar to indicate the different types of doorways, you'll just have one icon that you can use your mouse wheel to actually select between. You'll see on the right hand side it'll change from wooden wall with door to wooden wall with entrance. The difference being one is a door, one does not. Starting off, you're not going to have the materials to make a door, so just do a wooden wall with entrance. Looking at the ghost image, you can see that it's pointing away from us towards the exit of the building, or the entrance in this case. Now, if that's not the case for you and need to adjust it, hitting delete or page down on your keyboard will actually rotate it around. So just do so until you get it lined up, and left click will place down the frame for it. Now let's go ahead and put up the walls for everything else. Just like with windows, you can also do the mouse wheel to change between with shutter and without. But again, with shutter takes metal parts, but you don't have the materials the research to make. So let's go ahead and put down some frames. Alright, put down some walls. Paying close attention to which way the wall is. Alright, now we have the framing of our walls here. And just like with the foundation, you're going to be needing to uh, upgrade them. So we'll start with the doorway. And again, I'm going to skip ahead so you guys aren't forced to sit back and watch every single swing. Alright. And welcome back. Look at that. Got our walls finished. We got some nice little windows, little entrance. I'll definitely keep out some barbarians, right? Well, the next step is to get rid of this unsightly floor here. You see, you got to be careful when you do this because, uh, much to uh, <laughs> much to my regret, I messed up the first time I did mine uh, when I first started playing this game. Let me go ahead and pull it up. Back into your block menu, we're going to grab our flooring. Now you'll see. Then when it comes to placing it, you can put the floor down anywhere you want. Well, the problem is, unless it's snapped to something, you can push it around. Funny story, when I first did my uh, first house, we put down a couple of these flooring pieces, built them up, and then my friend actually jumped up onto the foundation, pushed off the entire floor. <laughs> Thing just slid right off the foundation like it wasn't even attached. Anyways, so, the best way to do this is to actually attach it to the walls. So you aim at the face of one of the walls and you can see down below the foundation for the floor. Now if you were to aim directly at the floor you'll notice that it's not actually resting on top of the foundation, it's actually sticking down into the ground. So what you're essentially doing when you do this is you're creating a floor below that support. Which is why you need to snap it onto the walls best effect. Alright. Now it's going to come down to this last little piece right here and it's going to be a little finicky. You want to actually aim for the frame of the flooring of the ones next to it. Don't bother trying to go for the walls or the support itself. Aim for the frame. And that will allow you to put it down. And just like everything else, be sure to build it up. All right. And once more, to save you guys some time, I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead to where I've already got the floor set up. Alright, see you then. And we're back. Got our floor all set up here. Didn't take too long for such a small room. But, you know, it's a start. Now... There's actually two things for this next step. 
one, you have to decide what kind of roof you're going to have. And two, you got to put it down. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hitting G, you have some options. You can be thatch, you can do wood, or even tiled roofs. Now, there's not really much of a difference at all when it comes to uh, the materials required for them. Even the same quantities. But what I recommend for the very beginning, to save yourself a lot of time and a headache, is just to make a flat roof. I know it may not be aesthetically pleasing, but it definitely does work. So what you're going to need first is wooden stairs and your floor. Now this wooden stairs you're going to want to snap on your house in some way. Let's see here. There we go. Now you don't have to build this up at all and actually I do not recommend it. Now pull out your flooring just like when it came to doing the uh, floor of your house. You're going to put it down piece by piece, connect it to the walls first, and then the center section. And you're going to build these up individually, like you did the flooring. This won't take terribly long, so I'll go ahead and stick it out for this. Plus, I already have the materials for it. So there'll be no gathering that you'll have to watch through. Just gotta keep whacking at it. Almost. More than halfway done. And when this is done, this is going to be a very basic house. Roofing can actually be a little bit more of a pain in the butt. I'll give you an idea how to start it. But when I go into actual roofing, I'm going to make a second video for that. Alright. And that's a house. If you're having trouble getting inside, you can also put another set of stairs here at the bottom. Build them up or don't. Your choice. But it doesn't take very many materials at all, it's just two timber. I'm oh, sorry, five timber. <laughs> it allows that transition to be nice and smooth. When it comes to the actual thatch roofing, like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a hassle. So I'm not going to go into full detail. But I'll show you where to start. Oops. All right, there we go. The thatch can actually mount on top of these floorboards pretty easily, as you can see. Flipping it as needed. And if you so wish, you can even come down the sides a little bit more. But I'm not going to worry about it. As I said, if you guys are interested in having a thatch roof, Stay tuned for one of my next videos I'll do. When you're done, though, let's get rid of these. Take down the excess. Get rid of this set of stairs here. Come on, there we go. And you have a house. You can set up your crafting table, your research bench, everything inside of here. And that there is how you build a basic house. If you have any questions or if you have any advice, feel free to post it down in the comments. I do pay attention. And if you guys have a certain aspect of the game that you're curious about, question-wise, how to find this, how to build that, don't be afraid to ask. I do do requests, as long as they're within reason. <laughs> 
All right, thanks everyone for coming, and I'll see you next time.